Today we are doing a makeup tutorial using the new Ooh. Huda Ooh. Mercury Witcher Grey. Go away, Brady! Ooh. Packaging is on point. And it's a hard case too. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, where do we start, Sasha? Move your hair out of your face. Once yeah. you've done it. That's so cute. We will prep our skin. Eyes done. Do you put foundation before you start putting your makeup on? Why do eyeshadow and then foundation? But as in like foundation or by your eyebrows, because I can't seem to get like foundation close enough without going over the eyeshadow. Okay, that's probably where I've been going wrong because I don't even put anything on my eyes before that eyeshadow. I think it's like a waste of product. It just makes it more smooth back onto the rest of your skin, I reckon. Especially around the eyebrow area. It does definitely look stupid until you put the rest of your foundation on though. Just look at that. It just looks like I've got no eyes. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so what I like to do first is put a layer that's closest to your skin color, probably the Karma on this palette, is that one? So what I like to do is just put it all over the lid. I can actually go quite high up with that color. Obviously I'm no makeup artist. So just the lid, not the whole eye? Um, yeah you can do the whole eye. Nice facials, can you show everybody your facial? <laughs> and then for the others. But I just like to move my eyelid like that and then get closer to the eye. In your eye and your eyebrow, the first layer I always go like mid. Okay. The least intense oh. colour. So anything you do above it, you go lower than that. <laughs> the next step I like to do is the corners of my eyes. Just a brush. So nothing with that's too fluffy. Boom. So the next colour we're going to get is called the Hot Mess. Mm. Which is just this one here. Dab a little bit. Because <laughs> you don't want really to get too much. Can you see that? It's very, very pigmented, this palette. Do you see that? <laughs> Damn you. So I just like to get the corner, like, you know where you put your eyeliner? Just like that. Just draw that line and kind of go up. And then kind of just build on it. Not all the way. In though, right? No, not all the way because you want the dark edges the most. And then get like a, a bit more of a fluffier brush. This fluffy. And then get like a medium colour between the first colour you chose and the darkest colour. So probably off balance is probably our best one. This one. Glitter on. So we're now going to use the shade Cosmic, which is a gorgeous lilac purple. I actually just use like to use my finger. Grab it onto my finger and kind of just oh look at it. Not so much yes. Smear it onto the middle of your eye. You can quite take it up quite higher up your eye if you want to with the first shade you put down. Brushes for this bit. It's not as pigmented. Ooh. I always like my glitters and quite pigmented. And I will go back with a lighter purple. Just kind of blend that bit out. Like here, with the glitter kind of stuff. Get a small brush. Small one. And I will do the corn inner corners of my eye with Super Moon, which is here. Grab a bit of product. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, I've just like piled it on. But perhaps if you pile it on, that's what I just noticed. Does that look weird? Woohoo! Do we look like this now? <laughs> <laughs> and then now we're just gonna do the rest of our face. But like, come on, like. Oh yeah, for fallout. This is why we did the eyeshadow first. I didn't used to do this until Daniel was like. You should do it. So annoyed with my face being so glittery. So I always do eyeshadow first. And if you want to do a real strong line for the eyeshadow, then you can just go in with a wipe. Make that line almost. And then just follow it with when you're applying foundation. Boom. Hi, I'm a mermaid. 
I can make water move. I can set things on fire. I don't know what the others are. Are we ready for the next step, which is the foundation? Oh, the fun part. This is where we transform. Um, primer again. I use the Lancome. I'm using Urban Decay today, the All Nighter. Day five. I'm using Full Coverage Nose. 5.5. M2.5. Then I use it on like a wide stipple type brush. Sejong likes to use a sponge. I can't get the hang of a sponge. I don't I don't know how to use it. I think it just soaks into my skin a lot better. Brush to like spread it all out on my face. And then you come in with a sponge, but Yeah my, my brush is broken. <laughs> Look at it. What did you do? So you get your ears and neck. Chin line. Okay, my foundation is on, like Donkey Kong. I do like to do my concealer. I see I just like to do my under eyes, like here. Some people like to do, I'll paint it, like the nose area, and then up here, and on your chin, and here. And then I get a beauty blender because I can get a little bit closer to my eye. A lot under my eyes because I got really dark under eyes, so I have to kind of pile it. There's there's a pole, beauty blender or a brush. Mercer, Mercia, translucent powder. This one, fluffy, fluffy. Ooh, fluffy. Do you wear my around my nose? Where I sweat the most. Mercia translucent. And then also a thick brush and fluffy. Do my contouring. So I just I, I prefer cream contour rather than powder. Once a man walked in on me applying my contour and I pretended to be playing and catch it. If the men find out we know how to transform, they will tell the church. <laughs> Surely you've seen the TikTok. No. Two two layers of um, contour. I do a bronzer from Thin Lizzy and then they do a slightly more orange bronzer from another drugstore to be honest. You don't you don't do contour like contour cream or anything, you just nah. bronzer? I use bronzer. So I do two layers of contouring. So I did the cream contour and now I will go in with the Bahama Mama. I recently started using a brush like that for my contour. I this is the brush I'm talking about Lipsy. It's gonna it's gonna slant. Ooh that's good. And then do you do your contour on your forehead and on the sides of your eyes? No, I just do my cheeks and the chin area. Apparently you want to make like a shape three. This is what the Kardashians taught me. They three, teach you. Like this. Did I talk to you? Like, yeah, oh, I had a lesson with the Kardashians. Disclaimer, that's a joke. <laughs> Highlight, I've been loving using a liquid highlighter. This one's from Benefit. Just kind of dab it on. Little fluffy brush. Very loose. Once we're down on my neck, I usually find that if I go this way, it helps to slim out the neck and to leave this bare. <laughs> and highlight there, contour there. That for me is the brows, fair brows. I don't like too heavy eyebrows because I've already got a thick eyebrow, so I like a subtle look. And a brow, brow, pow brow or something, I don't know. Just go over the brows so that the powder is set into the brows and it doesn't rub off. And any loose strands of hair is pulled into line with this product. I've been liking using blush. I don't have my blush with me at the moment. A red eyeshadow. Light. Eyeliner. So I've been using the Stella Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Just touched up on my under eye concealer. Do some darker purple. Just a little bit like on the bottom of my eyes. Just on my eyeliner with a stiff brush. Well, okay, I use this palette. It's a Kylie palette, boom, because it's wet, so it applies easy with fingers. And then I literally mix bits of all four colors. Nah. Ooh, ah, top lip and bird, so that when the lipstick is applied, it pops. I'm back. Did you miss me? 
Yes. <laughs> We're not living together anymore. So I do miss her. Oh. You don't miss me? Fine, I miss you too. We, we pretty much talk every day anyway. Because <laughs> I got long lashes thanks to that lilac. Apply it to under eyebrow. I actually don't need to wear falsies anymore. Thank you. For Danny. This spray because all face things are done. We she's using the Archure Rose Mist Water. It's actually so good. This is like so refreshing. I like to do this as soon as like all of my face is done to help set it in as quick as possible. What? Mascara time and I've been loving using Revita Lashes Double Ended Mascara. Because I've got really thin lashes, I need it for volume. So it comes with a volumizing primer, which is like a blue primer. My eyebrows, it's, it's really rubbed off, but Maybelline's Tattoo Brow, and it's like a wet eyebrow. I love it. So the trick I've learned for eyebrows, for where it needs to extend to, brush, any brush, hold it from your nose to the point of your eye and then where it ends, that's where your eyebrow should go to. I'm about to do Steve's eyeliner and I never know how this goes. It always goes different for me, but I've stopped getting Sajon to do it because I'm just like, I'm know? moving out. I need to learn to do it by myself. Look how long they are. I'm so happy. So see, this is, this is always what happens. See that flick? It's looking different to that flick. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Can you just make them the same at this point? I don't really care. Okay. Okay. I think I just made it the same by wiping it. I'm that pro. Wait, stop, stop, stop. Can I bend this? Don't touch it, you're gonna make it fat again. Oh, dear. At least my hair's done, your hair's not done. What are you gonna do? Does my hair not look good as it is? No. I got my hair done today. That's why it looks so nice. Went to Brooke at Oscar and Co. Got it prepped for my wedding. This is the colour I want it. It will be a little bit lighter with extra highlights. So we're gonna go in again closer to the time and add that in. For her wedding, she says, her wedding's in two months. Every purchase she makes nowadays is for her wedding. <laughs> Do you know how many pairs of wedding shoes she's bought? <laughs> One! One! It was black, guys. She okay. bought a black pair of shoes yes. and she said, it's for the wedding. <laughs> no, it's not. It ended up being super comfortable, so I kept it for business shoes. It was always mm. for personal. Okay, mascara I'm using So Fierce Revlon. They're so thick too, and they curl nicely. Mine are like really stubborn Asian lashes, so they just go bing. But you're lucky because that reflects into your head of hair. Your hair's really straight yeah. and thick. I know, but it just goes bing. Even when I use a lash killer, it like lasts like five minutes. <clears throat> Lippy time! I've been loving using a bold lip lately. Lipstick. So I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics um, Kristen. What I really like about her lipsticks is that they last so long. I'm going to use. What was it? Candy K. Ooh, that's like a pinky. Is that like a little pink? Mm -mm. Kylie Matte Liquid. Oh my god, I nailed it! Nailed it! On camera! You actually did! Yes! I'm done, team. Sejong wins the race. As usual. <laughs> if we play the video backwards, I win! <laughs> you done? Mm -hmm. That final look! Yeah, is the final frontier, isn't it? Ooh. See there? Right there. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Oh, oh. Shadow check. Mm, mm, mm. 